This is E1, day one, and we're looking at using a double consonant at the end of these words because they are all short words. Add, odd, egg, yell, spell, smell, spill, still, dress, cross, and they've all got a short vowel in them. A, o, e, 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 o. Now, if you have a short word with a short vowel sound and it ends in D, you have to put two Ds at the end of the word. So we're going to mark all those double Ds in pink. Then we're going to read the next one, egg. It's a short word with a short vowel sound, e. Eh? So we're going to make that word, we're going to make the Gs in that word green. The next ones are yell, spell, smell, spill, still. They're all short words, one clap each, and they've got short vowel in them. We're going to make those, make those words blue. So we're going to cover in that L, double L, two L's, two L's, two L's, two L's. In the last two words, we've got dress and cross. We've got a short E, short O sound. If you've got a short word with a short vowel sound that ends with S, we know we have to put two S's at the end of the word. So we're going to colour those ones with orange. Now, let's look at what these words mean. When you add two numbers together, um, we could use the word add. And sometimes when you do word problem sums, you'll have to read the sum in words. So you need to be able to read and write that number. If you're counting, sometimes a teacher might say, what are the odd numbers? And you have to know that one, three, five, seven, every second number is an odd number. And the ones in between, the two, four, six, eight, are even numbers. An egg is something that you might have for breakfast or even for dinner. Um, it's something you eat and mum might use to put in a cake. When we yell, we shout very loudly. A spell, you might be able to spell the word spell, put it all, S-P-E-L-L, -L, but witches also make a spell where they might pour some interesting things into a cauldron to stir and make into a special spell to use on someone. Smell. Sometimes you smell sweet things, but here we've got a picture of some smelly socks. Um, so our noses help us to smell things. Spill is when you tip something over and it goes everywhere. Still is if you have to stand or sit very still without moving. Or if you want to continue doing something, you would say, oh, I would still like to ride my bike for a little while longer. A dress could be something that you put on, that a, a, a girl or a lady might put on, but it can also mean to get dressed. So you could, if mum says, quick, you need to go and dress now, it means you've got to put on clothes. Cross could mean where um, you put, your teacher might put a cross on something on your work if it's wrong, but it also can mean when someone looks cross or angry at you. Now we're going to go through, through and read and sound, spell, cover and write those words, but we're only going to do just the first line. So we're going to go, we read it, then we sound it, add, sound it, at, d, at, d, at, d, three times. Then we spell it three times, A-D-D, -D, A -D -D, A -D -D. Then you have to cover it, and write it three times. Add, add, oops, add. Then you can go on to the next one. Read it, sound it three times, spell it three times, cover it, and then write it three times. Off you go. This is E1 day two, and we're looking at when to double the D. G, L or S at the end of a word. So if it's a short word with a short vowel sound and it ends in D, G, L or S, we're going to double that last letter. So add, at, d, odd, d. We have a double D after a short vowel, short word. Egg, double G. Yell. You et all, short vowel, double L, double L, smell, spell, smell, spell.
but it all st it all. And the last one we've got double S. We've got d r x k r o x. So short word, short vowel, double e s. So let's find another colour. We're going to go back and highlight those short vowel sounds. So we've got a o e e e e e e e o. So short word, short vowel, and it ends with a D, a G, an L or an S. We're going to double that last letter. So let's read them, sound them, spell them, and write them. So you've got add, 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 cover it, and write it. You can do the rest of those on your own. Down here you have to finish the word and match to the picture. So I've got a word starting with a, and there's two letters after it. We know it's going to be add. And there is a picture for some of them, not all of them. So egg, we have et, we know it's double G, and then you have to join the line to the picture. You can do the rest of those on your own. Fill in the gaps with the missing list words. Try not to something the milk. Try not to spill the milk. Three is an something number. It's an odd number. Two, mm, four, make six. You can work out what the missing word is. You can mm these words. We like to mm the flowers. Gran has a green mm on today. You have to look before you mm the road. Mum cooked an mm for my lunch. I can sit Mm, for a long time. Off you go and finish the page. This is E1, day three, and we're revising this um, doubling the letter at the end of a short word with a short vowel sound. So we've got add, we've got two Ds, odd, short word, short sound, double a D. Then we've got Egg, short word, short vowel sound, so we double the G. Y, E, O, yell, short word, short vowel sound, so we double the L. E, O, short word, short vowel, double the L, double the L, double the L, double the L. And then we've got the short word, short vowel, double the S at the end of the word. D, R, X. K -r -ox cross. Okay, so let's use another colour and go back and highlight those short vowel sounds. So we've got the a, o, e, 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 o. So we've got ad, od, egg, y, e, u, yell, sp, e, u, spell, sm, e, u, smell, P it all spill st it all still d r x dress k r ox cross. So then we have to read the words, sound the words, spell the words, and write them without looking. So we go add add a d d, and then we cover it and we write it. You can do the rest of these on your own. Verb families, here we're adding the S or ES. Remember, if you hear us, you write ES. If you just hear a S, you just write an S. Here we're adding the ING, and here we're adding either ED or the TUTS. But we've done the ones that end with T for you, so you don't have to worry about those ones. These ones are quite tricky because you could say spelled or spelt. Sometimes you say smelled and sometimes you say smelt. And sometimes you need to say spilled and sometimes you need to say spilt. So we've put both of them in there for you. Probably the easiest way to do this is to look for the base word first. So the base word is the word without anything added to it. So we, this is the word adds. If we take off the S, the base word would be add. If we look at yelled and we take off the bit we've added on, the base word would be yell. If we look at the word crossing, we take off the bit we added on, the base word will be cross. If we look at the word smells, we take off the bit we've added on, the base word will be smell. 
spells done for you. If we take off the bit we've added on to spilling, we'd end up with the base word spill. So finding the base words is probably a nice easy one to do. Then you could go down and add the S or the ES. So you'd have yells, we'll be adding the S, cross us. Now if you hear us, you've got to write ES on the end of crosses. Smells, that one's done for you. Spells is just an S. Spills, you can only hear an S, so you just write an S. These ones you're adding the ing, so you're going to have adding, yelling, crossing's done for you, smelling, spelling, spilling. Here you're going to add the ed, so you're going to end up with ad ud. When you hear ud at the end of a word, you know to write ed. Yelled is done for you, and the next one will be crossed. Sounds like a T there, but we know we're going to write the ED in. Plurals mean that we've got more than one of something. If we have one of something, we call it a singular or single thing, but more than one makes it a plural, and we usually add S or ES to form a plural. So let's have a listen to hear which one we're going to use. One egg, a carton of eggs. So if you hear S at the end of a word, you just write an S. One dress, a rack of full of dress -us. If you hear us at the end of a word, you know you're going to write ES there. One cross, a page of cross -us. So if you hear us, you know you're going to write ES at the end. One spell, a book of spells. So you're only going to write an S on the end because you can only hear it. Uh, Here you've got to combine to make new words and write them in sentences. So cross, and we add it to Lee, makes the word cross Lee. My mum looked crossly at me when I didn't do my chores. Um, you can do this one on your own. Smell E, smell E. You might say, uh, my brother has smelly socks or something. Opposites. You've got to find what, which word at the top means the opposite to moving. If something is not moving, it would be still. So you have to write the word in. The opposite of tick might be cross, even. You can work it out. Subtract is another word for less than or, or um, take away. And you can write the word in there. It's got to be the opposite word. This is E1 day 4 and we've got a witch's spell for you. So there's different things up here that the witch is going to put into her cauldron to make the spell. And um, so you might need to count them to work out which goes where in our, in our um, little poem that we've written for you. So one black something from the sky. So which thing up here is there only one of? Oh, there it is. It's a fly. One black fly. These words that you've got to fill in are all words that you've learnt that you should be able to spell and write in on your own. One black fly from the sky, two slimy something to beat the bug. So we've got to find something that there's two of. There they are there, two and it rhymes with bugs. They're slugs, so we'd have two slimy slugs to beat the bugs. As you go down each line, you'll notice that there's the numbers 1 to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This will be 6 that you'd have to fill in. 7, 8, 9, 10. So you've got to fill in those missing numbers as well. Um, and you've learned how to spell those numbers in Level D book. Down the bottom it says, write your own witch's spell. So you've seen our little witch's spell that we've written for you. You can write your own down here for us.